For women living with HIV and AIDS, the risk of transmitting the virus to the newborns during pregnancy, labor, or even breastfeeding is high. The possibility of passing on the virus during these crucial stages of a child's life makes avoiding the problem critical. There is a silver lining. Globally, cases of mother-to-child transmission of HIV have reportedly reduced over the years. Now, tonight, our Beatrice Kabugi, uh, HIV, an HIV survivor and community health volunteer in Nakuru, shares her journey of bringing up her nine-month-old baby and the precautions she takes to prevent HIV transmission. Our very own Marianne Yambura brings us the story. Saturday morning in Kikope, Gilgil, we meet 28-year-old Beatrice Kabugi, a HIV and AIDS survivor and a mother of two. <laughs> Beatrice first knew about her HIV status eight years ago during her first pregnancy. Despite the risk of transmitting the virus to her offspring being high, she did not shy away from raising her firstborn son. I tested positive back in 2012, December 10th. You see this how? Ilikuwa my first ANC visit. Nikapewa madawa mimi mwenyewe na nikapewa mpaka madawa za mtoto. Kwa hivyo huyo mtoto nilipata akakuwa sarama na akakuwa HIV negative at last. Today, Beatrice has a 9 month old baby who is breastfeeding. A critical stage in the development of an infant. Health experts have warned that the risk of HIV infection to a newborn is higher during pregnancy, childbirth, or breastfeeding. Journey has been for you over and over, kila moka. But the susceptibility to infection has reportedly reduced to 5% through medication known as antiretroviral therapy to both the mother and child. <laughs> A factor that Beatrice knows all too well, she keenly follows the due procedures and it has kept her infant's HIV status negative. Hizo dawa mtoto atameza mpaka akimaliza kunyonya, tuseme amemaliza kunyonya leo. Tutahesabu six weeks after kuacha kunyonya, hapo ndo nitamuachisha hizo dawa. Data from global body UNAIDS reveals that early infant diagnosis is crucial in the prevention of transmission. Frequent HIV testing of the infant is done on diverse dates to monitor their status. Ameweza kufanya vipimo mbili, kuna ya 6 weeks iko negative, kuna ya 6 months pia hiyo iko negative, na ngoja ya 1 year na 18 months. In 2019, the number of new infections through mother-to-child transmission that were averted in Kenya due to antiretroviral medication stood at 12,000. Further, new HIV infections globally among children aged 0 to 14 years has reduced since 2000 when the number among this group stood at 510,000. Beatrice has to maintain a strict health diet for both her and the infant at all times as the medication continues. But just like most HIV positive patients, there are challenges that still persist. Tukona uhaba wa madawa. Unapata hospitali zingine unaenda unapimiwa wa dawa ya wiki moza ya mtoto, wiki kisha, unaendea ingine, angalau wengine wasiweze kukosa dawa. Her successes thus far in keeping her two children safe from HIV pushed her to enroll as a community health volunteer, handling HIV positive mothers at a private hospital in Gilgil. For her, 40 years since the HIV virus was detected in the world, the strides made in this fight, she says, have kept her going and helped alleviate the stigma associated with the disease. Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV.